Shem's like the Tisbra, do you remember? The Tisbra? Do you really do do you really think so? <laughs> Something like that. Rabbi Yoisi, my Kasavar, we have a problem because we have three opinions. What does Rabbi Yoisi hold? He says that it needs to be Yisrael and Yuchasim. If he holds the main uh, um, song is with singing the choir, so avadim sagi. So you servants, you don't need to have Yisraelim. You don't need to have Levian. It's because this is uh, just the the orchestra. That's not the main thing. It's just an enhancement. If they hold, if Rabbi Yaisi holds that the main shir is the orchestra, Levian bina, then it should be Levian themselves. So how do you have a third opinion in here when you only have two options? Two Jews. <laughs> <laughs> says, Li'aylam, very good. Kasav Rekashir B'peh. Really, the song is the main thing. It's the choir. V'hacha b'malam yiduchem li'yuchsen alamaisus k'mithlgi. There's a question. The question is, can you say, this is what happens. Sometimes we have questions on someone's lineage. Who... What's their background? They come in, they say, what do you mean? I went to day school, and, uh, I went to Agan Yisrael in some other country or something. So, oh, okay, so that means that's the proof. The question over here is, if you have people that are standing on the temple, in, on, the, on the steps there, and they're playing the instrument, do we say, oh, you played on the temple, okay, you must have good lineage, you can probably eat miser. Here we have machlekes. Here is that enough of a proof? The one that says that they could have been servants, slaves. It's not a proof. Just because you know uh, you, you played in the Maccabi games doesn't mean that you're uh, that uh, that you get the kayan aliyah, right? It's, uh, it's like in the Olympics. You look at all the countries and the people who represent them they're from all over the world oh, they just move to that country and represent interesting them. that's interesting mandam alavim hayo the one that says that they're alavim cuz of malam doch bein lech mele maisus no once you're in that once you're in the in that status that you're standing there in the orchestra and then you can even get maisus <coughs> and we know your lineage so therefore we have to make sure who you are before you get in there and lamandam yisrael hayo one that says that Yisrael because of Malim Duchen Liuchsin Vleil Meisers, that we know your lineage. We don't, know, but it doesn't mean that you're a Levi, and therefore it needs to be the people that are there playing needs to be Yisraelim Liuchasim. Tanur Rabbanon, the rabbis taught Hashir Ma'akiv Es Akarban Divrei Reb Meir. Taught in a brisa that the song affects the validity of the sacrifice. No song, sacrifice is invalid. Now Taisus points out, I think Taisus points out. Yeah, Taisus points out. What are you saying? You only sing by the pouring of the wine. And the pouring of the wine doesn't even affect the sacrifice because you can do that later. He said, what we mean is, does it affect the pouring of the wine? That, the nisach. Does it affect the validity of the nisach? Chacham and Maim remain a Chacham say, no. Still a good sacrifice. It was missing the song. <coughs> the ladies would say this about the Shabbos meal. It's the sheer makif, the meal. If there's no song. It's, uh, you got to sing at the Shabbos table. It's makif. According to one opinion here, uh, my time uh, the Reb Meir. What's the reason for a Meir that says the Shir is Makiv? The Amar Kra, the pasuk says, "Vet nes alavim nesunim laarn alavanu mitoich bnei Yisrael lechaper al bnei Yisrael." The Levim are given to Aaron and his sons from amongst the Jewish people to assist the Kayanim, and then it says, "And to atone for the Jewish people." And it says, "Maka para makevus," just like the atonement. If there's no atonement, then the um, what do you mean the kapara ma'akevus? Must mean the sprinkling of the blood affects the atonement. So afshir ma'akevus. Also, the song. If there's no song, that affects the uh, the validity of the sacrifice. For rabbanon, what do the rabbanon do with that pasuk? Li'idach de rabbalazar. They use it for another another teaching of rabbalazar. So the machlekes here is between Rab Meir amongst the Tanaim. And the Chachamim. We don't know who the Chachamim is. It doesn't give us a name. And now we're saying, what did the Rabbanan do with that Pasuk? They say they use it for something that Rabbi Lazar taught. Now, Rabbi Lazar... I'm a Rabbi Lazar. doesn't tell us if that's a Brisa or a, an Amaira. Could be it's Rabbi Lazar ben Fadas, which is much later. 
or it could be that it's Rebbe Lazar ben Shemur. That's, con- that's a, a confusing name, because Rebbe Lazar, Stam Rebbe Lazar, if it's a Brisa, would be Rebbe Lazar ben Fadas, uh, Rebbe, Rebbe Lazar ben Shemur, a student of Rebbe Akiva, which is right here. Um, Rebbe Lazar ben Shemur, a student of Rebbe Akiva, is slightly lower than Rebbe Meir, uh, right next to Rebbe Meir. Okay, but he says, just like the uh, sprinkling of the blood needs to be done by day, also the singing needs to be done by day. How do we know that you need to sing? By the sacrifices. They will serve in the name of Hashem, their God. Ezu Shiras. Shebeshem. What is a serve that has to do with the name of Hashem? Haviyem is a shira. This is singing. Maybe it means raising their hands and, and, and blessing the Jewish people. Because over there we say, Yevarechecha Hashem v'yishmerecha. So over there it's service with Hashem's name. So midiksiv l'shar say l'varech b'shmai. I have another Pasuk that says to serve him and to bless with his name. That means that serving is something else. Because it says and. That means it must be something else. So what's the serving that's not the blessing with the name must be so. That means that the blessing is not considered shiris. It's not, that's not the serving. The serving has to be the singing. Rav Masna Amar Mehacha. Rav Masna says from here. This is actually a very famous Gemara. Made famous by Mordechai ben David. Hmm. Because you have not served Hashem your God with joy and with a gladdened heart. What's the service uh, that has to do with it? Happiness and with a glad heart. You say, this is song. <coughs> Where does Rashi come here and say, Adam Shashir, let me take See that Rashi? That's what his song is. That's the song. Remember the song? The song is the Chmash Mafir Rashi. Okay. Um, One second. Maybe it means the words of Tyra because the words of Tyra also gladden. They gladden the heart, the words of Tyra. It says, It's not called Tyra. This is a little surprising because they said, Ain't Tyra Tyra. Doesn't it say it? Okay. I don't know. You don't know. Oh, sure. good. Tais was asked this. Tais was asked this. Tavli teres picha. Ki lekach tav nasati lachem. The answer is that it doesn't say tav next to simcha. It doesn't say tav next to lev. It doesn't say tuv levav. Bikurim. <coughs> Let's say that it's referring to Bikurim because it says you didn't serve Hashem with Simcha and Tuv Levav. Maybe that's referring to to, um, to Bikurim because Bikurim is also called Simcha. You shall rejoice with all the good. And over there it says you should rejoice, and it also says good. but It doesn't say glad in heart. It just says good. Amar of Masna. Rav Masna says. I should point out that Rav Masnas is a student of Shmuel. However, we find in certain places that Rav Masna was an expert in Pesukim. And Shmuel actually um, asks Rav Masna sometimes about Pesukim. Rav Masna has this, uh, like we, we find certain uh, um, Amiraim are used, are, are quoted very often in dar- Darshan and Pesukim. Rav Masna says, shira. Uh, how do we know that Bikurim requires song as well? It says over here, Taiv, and it says, And over there we know it's song. Also, Bikurim requires song. What song do they sing? Rashi quotes, they say, 
Any is that so? Varm Rab Shmuel Bar Nachmeni Amar Rab Yonasa Minayin Sheinem Shir El El Al Yayin. Song is only said with the pouring of the wine. Why are you saying that it comes with the, you sing song with Bikurim? Bikurim is all the seven fruits. I'm sure, if you ask some people, they can make wine out of anything, but but uh, apparently it's the grape wine. Shinemar Vatayim Lema Gefen Echadalti Astiroshi Am Sameach Alikim Ba'Anoshim Im Anoshim Sameach Alikim B'Ma Sameach. Who's, I forget whose son this was. Uh, Gidon left the son. Gidon had 70 sons, right? One of, the, one of them killed out all the other brothers. He let, except for one. Yosem. Anyway, uh, the people of Shechem made the... Uh, he wanted to rule. He didn't want any, anyone like... Uh, uh, any, if you're a relative, that wasn't good for them. So... So, um, so the, this younger brother stands up and he gives him this message to the people. He says, "He says, look who you pointed over you." He says, "The um, um, they asked this tree, can you rule over us?" He says, "I'm going to give up my, my this to rule over you." I have they asked the the vine, "Can you rule over the, all the trees?" Are asking, the, "Can you can you rule over us?" He says, "I'm going to give up my wine. My wine gladdens God and man." So the Gemara says, I we understand how it gladdens man. It's alcohol. But how does it gladden God? It says, no. The song that they sing with wine gladdens God. That, this, that when they would pour that wine, that's what, that's what would gladden God. So, what's a, so how, do we, how do you have song by Bikurim? That's not wine. It says, Mishkachas will be fine. The Tani Rabbi Yaisi. It is possible to have wine by Bikurim. <coughs> because even though you're supposed to bring fruits, but if you pressed it into wine and you brought the wine, that's also Bikurim. So therefore you have the wine by the, um, by the Bikurim. Chizki Amar Mehacha. V'chanan yo sar halavim yosher b'masa imevinu. Kananya, the minister of the Levium, he ministers with the carrying because he is understanding. Al tikri yasser, don't read it. Ministers, ala yashir, he sings. The word sar as a minister. Also, also could be the word shar, shar shira, sing a song. We're going to see soon that the word masa actually means song as well. We'll see that soon. Masa, we said, was carrying, it actually could mean song. So, this is a proof that the, that they would sing songs. This is a source. Balvati, you you mentioned Naftali, you mentioned that each Masechta has one uh, sage that's only in that Masechta. I don't. I never came across him anywhere else. Balvati. They had a uh, they had Italian. Oh, very good. <laughs> Amr Rabbi Yechanan, Balvati Amr, he says in the name of Rabbi Yechanan, Mihacha, Lavid Aveda Savaida, to serve the service of the service. Isu Aveda Shetrich Aveda, which service requires service? Rabbi Amr Zushira, the song is a service to the service. It, 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 it comes along, it's an accompaniment of the service. It's a service to the service. Rabbi Yitzchakam Mihacha, Su'u Zimra, lift up in song, Usnu Saif, and give to the symbols. A kinar, a harp, noim, im, uh, kinar noim, a pleasant harp in im, no, novel with a lyre, with the, the picture that we saw yesterday of the harp. He says, Yisu kailam yoraino, begain Hashem tzalamayim. They raise their voice in song. <coughs> with the greatness of Hashem, they, um, the waters sing more than the song of the, uh, of the Yamsuf. The Tana Maisele Mehacha, the Tana brings it from this price. Lubne Kahas Lay Nasan. To the children of Kahas, it wasn't given this service. Kiaveda Sakeda Shalayim, because <coughs> they had the holy service, because if you so, they carry it on the shoulders. <coughs> if it says on the shoulders, in Yedesha you so, then obviously they carry it. Matam Adami you so. Why does it say you so? They carry it. If it's on the shoulders, they carry it. Ain't you so a Lashan Shira. 
this raising up, the so is carrying the song. The Chayinu Aimer, it says, Siddu Zimra Snusay, Rem Yisu Kailam Yeraino, all of these are uh, um, a words of raising up, of raising up, this is raising up in song. Song, the, the in, in, um, in, uh, in Chassidish Asfarim, it talks about when you dance, so the, the, it's the melody that lifts your feet. So it, there's a connection with the raising up in the melody. That's in, interesting because when they carried the urn, they didn't really carry it. The urn carried itself. So like when you say the melody lifted uh -huh. their feet. Interesting. Because that's the Pasuk. They but carried the Hananiah ben Achir, Rabbi Yeshua, Imam Rehacha. Hananiah, the, the, the brother of, the son of the brother, the nephew of Rabbi Yeshua, says from here, Moshe Yadabar Velikim Yanenu Bakal. Moshe spoke, and God responded with sound, Al Iske Akal. He commanded him, responded with sound means he commanded him to sing, because Moshe was a levi. Ravashi Yamar Mehacha. Ravashi says from here, Vayik Echad Lamachatzit Shemal Amashem Lashmiya Kol Echad. It was as one to those the trumpeters and to the singers to give off one 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 uh, sound. It means that yeah, that they have to sing. What we're discussing here is the source of singing in the temple. Rabbi Yenison, Okay, let me leave it with by Rabbi Yenison. We'll, we'll stop by Rabbi Yenison. Yes. So therefore, no. Woo. One second. One second.